<laughs> no worries at all. We've always valued the strength of adventurers. Given the current, since we're facing the same enemies, I'll send you the in. All right. Thank you so much. Yo, 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 yo. Hi, Catherine. Ah. It's us. Got any new commissions? Ah, you two have come just in time. I've got some. G given how the Abyss has ramped up, so the Pyro Archon suggests once we receive word of enemy activity, we can notify the. Yes, precisely. This should also allow us to focus on gathering information, rather than running around and trying to tackle everything at once. So please also take a chance to relax, you two. You've been working hard these- So that's the plan! <sighs> we can- Paimon knows that! <laughs> the movements of the Abyss are always unpredictable. Once the disaster is over- Oh, right. Most people have no idea- Tina, are you feeling better now? Uh, sao lại mất tiếng của Katrina vậy? <cười> What the fuck? Wow, so we'll finally get to meet Shimon, the legendary forger of. Vẫn nói nhưng mà không có tiếng Chứ không phải là kỳ câm như, như là Kiểu thế giới Hey, have some confidence in yourself, Kachina After all, you're What? Yay, gặp Silonen. Siêu thợ rèn. No. Ah, yes, so I've heard. So young and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Wait, are you, are you outlanders? Yep, we're travelers who just arrived in Natland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're outlanders. No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged herself to the plan, but we need to forge an ancient name to ensure she'd be able to... Re and she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. But I seem to understand where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <sighs> oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it, really. I just uh, need a moment to process things. The Pyro Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill, and uh, we used to argue a lot. Honestly, anyway... I can't argue with her if she isn't here, and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. What? But, ooh, just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset. After all, she must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task. It's impossible? As you probably know, an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's sparing glory, which grows even richer and heavier. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name. But they were all performed outside of Natlan, correct? Yeah, that's right. Then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. To take it one step further, even if you had performed heroic deeds in that land, 
As an outlander, your actions still wouldn't have been recorded by our lands. Only memories and experiences that have been acknowledged by the Wild can be used as a basis for an ancient name. Even the greatest of craftsmen cannot create something out of thin air, you know. That's just how it is. Seems the Wyab don't want just anyone to get a name, huh? Mawika, of all people, should know better than anyone. Yet she still entrusted the task of forging the ancient name to me. Oh, mm. Paimon gets it. Nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Ugh, don't remind me. Uh, you mean you're already willing to accept the task? Well, what else can I do? What's happened is already done, and it's not like I can outright defy the order of my Archon. If she gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan, and that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. In other words, the order is an affirmation of my abilities. Oh, not only has she accepted the task, but now she's looking- The key is getting the Wyab to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record her heroic deeds. We heard the voice of a Wyab when we were in the Night Kingdom before. If we can talk to her again, maybe we can figure something out together. Well, every tribe has their own Wyab. How do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Plus, considering the unprecedented nature of this situation, I have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one Wyab alone would probably not be enough. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. That requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. We need to find a consultant who's an expert on all things Night Kingdom and Wyab. Yeah. The first person who comes to mind is Seat yeah. Lolly at the Masters of the Nightwind. The one we call Granny Eats Tali. Oh, we've heard that name before. We use a person who can make something like that. Uh, still, she's older now and quite eccentric. It's hard. I've heard that to get her help. I hate to break it to you, but... Huh. Why is that? I mean, didn't she already... Well, yeah. <sighs> Great going, Moika. We're already off to a rocky start here. Rocky start there. <laughs> In that case, I guess your only option is to try to emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Arc. I'll also write you a letter on your behalf. <laughs> if you can find someone to deliver it and mention some good things about it. Highland sure hopes a hell. All right, Kanich is a seasoned negotiator. Uh, please just give me a moment to write the letter, and... No, I got okay. the we'll take a scroll in the meantime. Or if a lobby start. I'm sorry to put this on you, Kanich. Oh, man, in Nick of the what the fuck? Oh, wait, so Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan? heroes and that Shilonen is one of four that have already- Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Having companions walk by your side, it- Given how the Masters of the Nightwind love to babble about dream, I've never met Auroron, but if they consider him the- Auroron? Huh. Makes sense. Huh. So, if I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Auroron and the cap- 
mẹ có mỗi hai người nói bọn này tốt mẹ luôn yeah plus we kind of owe our yeah this is a pretty well thought out plan then uh yeah I'll... okay then let's hai ngày nữa con mẹ tao vừa mới skip hai ngày rồi C1 thì nó chỉ cộng với luôn chấn thì nó mới bắt đầu mạnh lên. Tôi nghĩ là I have a bad news. C2 did not. She didn't even bother to give Kenichi a response? Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric though. She's one of the most gifted people around, but let's go to the stadium and see. That's true. Bình thì thêm cá vàng thôi nên là cá vàng để dính trong để bớt nước thôi nên là nó không để mạnh được luôn rồi để xem thời gian nói chung là có bảo hiểm đó, trên men là cũng ok rồi Hyman doesn't see anybody Bình ra sớm thì đã không sớm lắm không có luôn nhưng mà cũng ra được <sighs> well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yes, Mawika is our leader. But that doesn't mean there's any kind of... The only thing is that she often has very... Huh. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's like the old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Does she think she can ignore us just because she's famous? I know, yeah. You all talk about her like she's some kind of huge deal. Yes, she I... didn't even bother to report her letter. Yeah. Seriously, if that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <clears throat> oh, really? So, that's how you see me? Yeah. Oh, who's there? Who's talking next to Paimon? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Uh, come on. Huh? Seat Lolly. Wait, you're Seat Lolly? Your granny eats to me? Yes. Granny Eatsley, but emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. Ah, oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. Oh, wipe that look off your face. You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> okay, well, don't go thinking it's a trick either. See, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Did I forget to mention? She's called Granny, but, uh, she's actually pretty young. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Um, I'm on sorry. What? How dare you? <laughs> Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Uh, Paimon really didn't mean to offend you, it's just that... Uh, oh, Paimon just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot... <clears throat> It was my idea to invite you here, Seat Lolly. So if you're upset... <sighs> All right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise... I received Kenichi's letter, but... Of... It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, 
but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology. Only to- <sighs> Anyway, that's the whole story. <laughs> of course, I did. Huh? What's with that expression? <laughs> but <you are laughs> Was she feeling embarrassed just now? <laughs> when the masters of the night wins, so they struggle dealing with her. Huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. Huh, she seems to be pretty up. <clears throat> anyway, she correct the situation. Ah, uh, I see. So Mauika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good- Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Aurora back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient- Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. What? Hmm. Wealth leads to unending conflicts between a weary yet free soul. <sighs> Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Huh? Don't move. There's something here. Huh? W what thing? Don't scare Paimon. Is the Traveler gonna be okay? Ah, shoo! Ah, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. <laughs> Isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? Ah, it's nothing as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind, and generally worsen your mood. Oh, in that case, better to get rid of them. It was nothing. Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Auroron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. But I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds good. Then we'll go with see Lolly to track down Aurora. Phew, the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please, be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, just come find me. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe. All right, now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroron's place to look for clues. He has always lived alone, and I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids, which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnaian arms. 
Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. But why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <coughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. <sighs> in any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But... Uh, please help me get him back. You can count on us! Alright, then let's start by heading to where Auroron was seen last. <laughs> Over here. This is the spot. An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him, or perhaps trying to extract information. Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't Kanich say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kinda weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Auroron? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us, and once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids, living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. Well, let he's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long- Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Paimon doesn't see anything. Oh, right. 
I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Ah, uh, here. How about now? What do you see? Whoa, Paimon can see it now too! That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the Phlogiston too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the Traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. When I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to... Over here, this way! <laughs> See, Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is really something. Uh. What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there... Uh, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. But, or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Ugh, don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. Uh, huh? Was that? Uh, now that I think about it... Oh? <laughs> they appear to be feeling quite confident. <laughs> Looks like our work... Hey, looks like there's a new camp over there! Let's go take a look. Uh, that little brat, I swear. I just hope he hasn't gotten himself into any real trouble. This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Only someone from our tribe would reckon We've got to find him. Uh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to... Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But... Uh, but what if my darling grandson is also there? I can't... Uh, no. I've got to be careful. Otherwise he'd get hit as well.
There are traces of people staying here, too. Uh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, Electro, and some other elements as well. Kanich told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> it's about time that little brat said something nice about me. <sighs> there are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate way. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's... Given there are two sig... I'll take this direction. <sighs> Roron? What the heck were- And off she go, Traveler. Did you hear all of that as well? Once Seat Lolly left? That so you were thinking the same thing. She did say that she was- <laughs> If you think- <laughs> I want see some traces here. Let's follow them and see if we can find anything up ahead! Did you find something? Weird, the phlogiston trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these foot, but he can't have just evaporated into thin air, <laughs> right? We know he wasn't alone, he had all those fatui with him. So, you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this, and given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. <sighs> Hello, Traveler. I'm... Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie like a false omen in the lingering smoke. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. Greetings, traveler from afar. Be careful with this traveler. Her soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my con- It was I who tasked Auroron with leaving the traces to lead you here. And I who oh, used the mask- I've heard much about you from the past I'm encounters you've had with my colleagues. I will use the opportunity to explain my goal- If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the state. You will see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please.
hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? See, Lolly! She froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? Uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you... If you're feeling sick, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to, uh, exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. In any case, let's take a bit more time to... Need to be feeling better yet, Trap? All right, let's get ready. I followed my phlogiston. Oh, so it's close by. Then well, I rec- But if you want to make it up- All right. Look over there. Huh? I don't think she sees someone in the middle of the camp. That's Auroron. So he really was taken by the Fatui. All right, we'll take the lead. Hmm. Hey, quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Huh? Uh, okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo-jumbo. Wow, I'm go- See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper and- <sighs> Are you on my- <sighs> Still trying to resist? You've got no idea who you're up against! Over there, huh? I'm that's Aurora. All right, we'll take the lead. Hmm. Hey, quit daydreaming. I cannot see uh, without the sun. Huh? Wow. Man. See, Lolly's struggling to control. <laughs> <laughs> On Mike. 
You're still trying to resist. You've got no idea who you're up against. Game's up. Game's over. Hear the echoes of the valley. Well, don't be dead. Things are about to get dicey. Gotcha. Strike a pop! This is now about to get... Let the mountains face me! just begun. Looks like I went too far. Here comes the catch. No. Oh. Uh, uh, great. Um, Paimon knows she's. And greetings to you too, other uh, Granny. What did you just call her? Granny, is that not right? How many times have I told you it doesn't work like that? There are a <laughs> lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling every. Wait, wait, wait! He's not a child, is he? Oh. Your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child. It's just Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the masters <laughs> of the night wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Yeah, <laughs> Exactly. Uh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be... And do you think saying all of this is good? <laughs> Haven't I told you yeah, a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of beasts prowling around, scammers looking for their next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. Oh, so you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance. Mm. <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the leyline distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. <laughs> Were you the one who helped the captain <laughs> escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. So wow. because because they said they Hey, I'm uh, thank even if the truth. I'm sorry. Uh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Aurora. Sounds good. You're back. Yes. I grow a lot of fresh. Uh, now's so not the time to be thinking about that. No idea. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, recite the three warnings. Huh? How exactly did the masters? Oh. They hear me talk. I make them feel. Yeah, on Clown Nine. I've got a sexy boy. Your boy, Ty? I see. That's right. Now that you know Aurora... We'll give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's re... Will I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. 
I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron, please report back to the Speaker's chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. Huh. Well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler, Paimon, thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my son. Once Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Oh, thank you! You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. You can just go twiddle your thumbs or something while you wait for the good news. Bye for now. Uh, come with me, Auroron. We've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Goodbye, other granny. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're finally done. All right, it's time to find some grub. Choice, no matter. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll. I can't star from the sky. Ah, don't talk. Oh, you're back. Why? Was your Bye before I change and a star from the sky. Weird. Hyman doesn't see anyone. <laughs> what was that? Good evening. Nice to <sighs> It's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. Uh, and what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Huh. Come to think of it, you... Oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Grant? Well, I could. Hmm. 
It's all clear. Over to you. Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your c- Yet, there's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Mauwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natlan, she still needs two more heroes to appear. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natlan, even all of Tavat, will pay for her mistakes. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along? The details of which she has chosen to keep hidden. An emergency plan? Yes. A way to keep Natlan. Whether this stems from hes. My fear is that oh, given we have stuff. to make the decision. Yeah! Wasn't it you? I knew you'd be since I was defeated in battle. Bow I was put to rest my thoughts about the end now. <gasps> Someone's here. Huh? The captain disappeared! Something is rapidly approaching. Something! Bad news, chump! It's your granny! <laughs> See, love! When did you get <sighs> I knew something was amiss after we were separated. <laughs> How dare you go behind- <sighs> Oh, here we go again. Cat <laughs> got your tongue, huh? You really <laughs> think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? I'm not trying to avoid anything. Oh, and now you're talking bow, back. Bow, well, the... go on then. Bow, bow, Explain the yourself. Granny. I'm sorry, Granny. Ugh, you! That's it! Where are my bow tools? To I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... Uh, wait, see, Lolly! Please, calm down. We down still learned a lot of info, didn't we? So, maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? <laughs> uh, listen well, Auroron. You're only get. Uh, you're right. Get the wife. I just I know it's crap. Yeah, we do the king. King of King. Bow down to the Bow down to the King. Uh, in all my years, I've never had a child cause me so much grief. Do you seriously not see what's at stake here? You've got a head on your shoulders, Auroron. Use it! Why did you help the captain? And I want the truth this time. Uh. <laughs> no answer? Think you're being smart? <sighs> then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh. <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Uh, just use your brain for a second. 
What do you possibly stand to gain by helping oh, the captain? Man. Like Only endless kid. trouble awaits you and everyone in the- You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. <laughs> Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Um... I... I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. <laughs> you're very kind. Most people would have fled by now. Not everyone can handle Granny's scolding. Oh? You dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? You... Uh, sorry, so <sighs> sorry, Granny! <laughs> sorry, Granny! You know what? Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now, so why would you listen to an old hag like me? You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me! Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Aoife over to my place to deliver your <laughs> stupid vegetables! <laughs> I don't need anything from you! Um, who's Aoife? <sighs> that's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. <laughs> Auroron, if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, that- uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. Paimon's starting to get lost. That's not it, Grant. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is- His voice. It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlin. So I've got to go. Get back here this instant! Auroron! Ugh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What just wow, happened? Wow, to okay. oh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, he pulled it off flawlessly. Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his legs. Whoa, that's a little extreme. <laughs> but still... <sighs> I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them. Er Auroron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. Oh, no. Bow down. Bow down. Bow down. Uh, uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. It'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. Oh, hell. Oh, hell, the king. Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Alright, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. Uh, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Oh, how did this become Paimonville? Uh, see, Lolly, look. Alright, alright. It's on Paimon this time. What? So you can just sit back and enjoy. Hey, come on now. You won't even... Uh, are you sure? <laughs> uh, Mora's... Sure, that's fine with us, but... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak... Bring it! Huh. Hmm? What are you looking at? 
uh, do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each other. Are they twins? But yeah. Paimon only sees- Huh? <laughs> As it used to be. Give me what another bottle, boss. Uh, do you think she's drunk? There you go, miss. Oh my! It's not every day you get to see Granny Itzli here with some friends. Oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Granny Sidlali. Wait, so you call her Granny too? Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her- Huh? Gossiping about <laughs> me right in front of my face now, are you, Chanka? Oh, hey, die, Granny, I, I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers, too. All right, that's enough. Go on now. I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. Uh, uh, who's that? Uh, you got. Uh, are you still with the Seat Lally? You're kind of talking to no one. Uh, you chumps come around here picking fights with me. Well, you know what happens next. You lose, and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big, scary bully. I mean, come on. Monster? Me? Really? W what did I do to deserve that? Granny Seat Lolly, you're not yeah. a monster at all. Exactly. And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising... <gasps> oh yeah, and I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. Hey, guy. I got you. Oh, you. What the fuck is this bitch? Get the fuck out of my world. Don't play dumb. <laughs> Didn't I teach you how to find float, Justin? That was you see? I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. You tell him. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs>
<laughs> Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Behind the smoke, the lingering smoke. Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. <laughs> Is this another specialty of. No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sid Lolly herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, you have been able to master hers. Warning, warning. Red, red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Huh? A <coughs> uh, traveler? Paimon? I... What's wrong? Uh, 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 I'm gonna hurl. Hang on, just keep it in. Uh, uh, phew. Okay, it's passed. Uh, that was a close one. You had Paimon worried. Paimon really thought you were... Oh, okay. how embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Uh, uh, there's so much that... Why not? Of course you can. Uh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were- Oh, Paimon gets it. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? Um, actually- Huh? Yeah! Uh... This is so... Y you heard... You heard my... It's okay, see, Lolly. You had... Ev uh, I can't take it anymore! <sighs> Hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing. It's just like when you're rolling on the... So that, uh... It happens to... <sighs> take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely given up. Like those crib. Great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> You're oh no, what do we do? Please don't die! <laughs> <lie. laughs> I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. I'm just... Let's just have a casual conversation. Really? You don't seem like- Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually- Oh, I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. What? You're just a regular per- <laughs> uh, The kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Grant- Well, you are powerful. Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out- What about you? Are you scared of me? We don't find you scary at all. <laughs> huh. 
That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how I make people realize that no matter how- Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. We believe you. She yes, but Auroron's a special case. Mawika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Auroron and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Auroron's not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. The Masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls, and in Auroron's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. Nope. A possibility. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather with- Wait, that doesn't sound right. Now, you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroron, would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised the Chief at the time came up with the plan. The Ley Lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears, and now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the Chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. <laughs> so they went ahead with the serum. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But... What kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? By using a human life as a tool? It's not right. So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved if the ceremony succeeded? Wait, but it's not his fault. He knows that, but he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls, more than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with Ley Lines has become. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler. Didn't the captain say he found a way to solve the crisis? Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back! I... Uh, you don't look so good, Seat Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, forget that. I need to go home. <laughs> I hit it a little too hard. <laughs> uh, you've helped me so much already. How do I even begin to thank you? Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. 
Uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Aurora's probably back with the captain, don't you think? You mean about the backup plan? Yeah, you're right. But she's probably asleep. <laughs> Bring it! Why is it so noisy outside? Pirates still have its sleep. Well, guess we should see what's going on. Uh, you're already here. I. Wow, you're up early. That's impressive. Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the state. I heard many areas have been attacked by the abyss. The abyss attacked again? I'll be fine. We also have. The stadium could always use more manpower. I'm done making excuses. I was the one who vouched for him. So, but I should be able to convince. As for the ancient name, once we handle this crisis, thank you. <laughs> she left in a hurry. This, uh, oh, looks like a lot. Of <laughs> Paimon, coming in. Paimon, coming in. Is this level okay? Can you hear Paimon? Auto roll. Appeared. Oh, you're all here! But, uh, what's with the whole Star Outlander thing? Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. All right, but can we get a quick rundown of the situation first? The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty. The mass- Yes, and the attacks are increasing in frequency. The tribes have plenty of defenses. Chaska and I have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got- I plan on heading back to the collective- What about you, Mulalani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the children of Echoes. They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. What about you guys? We could go together. Yeah, that does sound important. <laughs> that would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. Let's part ways here for now. And most importantly, be careful, everyone. Oh, and some of us need to avoid getting contaminated by dangerous-looking substances. That will make my job a lot easier. <sighs> Koichi, do we really have to do this now? <laughs> it's all right. She's just looking out for everyone. All right. Let's hurry up and talk to the Pyro Archon so we can help the others. Emmy. Oh, it's you two. 
As you can see, things are not looking good right now. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our convers- That's alright, we're also in a hurry. We're gonna go ha- What? So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. <sighs> I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep- I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan, but it comes at a heavy price. The Gnosis would drain all the souls at- Wait! You can use- Yes. It means sacri- The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. Given the enormity of the price, now it's true. Both plans come at a risk. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tevat. Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyra Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan still. This has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the Captain learned this information. Oh, one more thing? The Captain said he found another way to solve the problem. Could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down, so he can answer that question for us. Judging by your expression, you must have doubt- Not even a little! We would never- Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? <laughs> Just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity. So now that you have your answer, do you still- <sighs> You scared, Paimon. You've really got a lot of guts, Traveler. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel- As for the captain- That's great! Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer! <sighs> Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the war- Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult- Wait! You're- That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now, I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natlan. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. <sighs> Yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. She can't be too far ahead. <laughs> no need to worry about me. Who the fuck are you? Bro! The 
the fuck are my nhiệm vụ? À, bà can Chết, nhầm nhầm nhầm, anh dài à? Chết rồi Nó cho anh dài ở nhiệm vụ khác à? do you have left? What's the situation? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. Stay safe. We've got this. What? We can get on that. What? You have been real one of them. You did yet? Turn it. Don't get. Don't get it. Say bad. Uh, my, my, my. Finally. thought I was done for. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last Abyssal Pylon near the Children of Echo. <sighs> By the way, where's Seat Lala? The Masters of the Night went all... <sighs> that makes sense. Alright, this isn't a good... Um... Uh... <laughs> Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Uh, uh, the abyss threw a... Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors and... Just like that... Yes. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. 
<sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would- I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his- Life is important, but so are history and memory. Uh. As the Archon, she can't tell us- The next question is... Uh, this is all super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, We'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Malika said her intelligence officers should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. I was just about to ask. Count me in. <sighs> if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. <sighs> it's all a chain reaction. Register? <laughs> nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. All right. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! <laughs> worry. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? Calm down and let me explain. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. 
it? You're right. That's a traveling group from Natlan. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Oh, okay. We can do that. But... We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what... So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. Koichi, wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh no you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. We still can't see anything on the inside. What if you can't find cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway, so let me come with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Ugh, all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Ah, ha <laughs> ha, guess that means I win. Don't worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right, same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. We have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. Now. 
Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Good. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fukuichi should have line of sight. That's it. Now's my chance. Staying in one place. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Time to move. Go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance! Ah, <laughs> I made it! That'll sh Let's see... The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow... Wait! I've got it! Huh? What's that noise? Did something explode? Oh! It stinks! <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing! Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance! Come get me, Chaska! I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. Alright, time to move. Give me your hand, quick! Coming! I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest. Rebel said, and do no wrong, I would be a good boy. I don't make them wrong, just I want to make it. Well, I was pretty helpful, right? <laughs> I was Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Let's focus on the task at hand. All right, all right. If you're not, looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this. It yeah, seems like they're looking for a dragon. The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from Natland don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? Hmm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course! We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. Hmm? What was that sound? Uh oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! What? <sighs> You'll regret that! After them!
Once we got them off our tail, we went it looked like they were waiting, though. So, Kuichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. <sighs> You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> you don't need to give us anything, or <laughs> Well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... Uh, I accept. Thank you, Archon. What am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Yummy snacks! I'm taking Koichi home. With our parents there. Hey, it's not like I'm some- That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not gonna rush out the minute you hear the alarm? I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm-hmm. Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might... But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. <sighs> I guess you're right. But I don't have to like it. <sighs> this reminds Paimon of when we first met! Except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. I'd do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. Then try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? <laughs> I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. Ugh. That's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. Just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Plus... I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my- Okay, you don't have to put it that way. So, you're all good now? Okay. 
Neither of us are really the type to back down, so we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Be my guest. See you later, traveler. There's no rush. At least grab a nice- Bye, you two. Take care of- Huh. Those two will probably make up for- Well, we've learned a lot. <laughs> uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Again. <laughs> uh, why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm- Awesome! J hey, friend- Oh, yeah. You're my- I'm on in the tra- I agree. Aurora on- What? He came back? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. Apparently, he came back- I'm not surprised you let him- I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Ugh. <sighs> All these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Auroron is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Look. Remember how I said Auroron's soul is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable. And this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroron is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and he happens to be very good friends with Auroron. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. He probably suspected that I tampered with it. But here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, which he no longer needed. That's amazing. You can do something like that? Uh, most people can't, but I can. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole backup of Auroron's memories in this gem! <laughs> the kid thinks he can take me on? Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows? That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away! Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. Huh, that's a tough question. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. To be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago, and now I'm useless again. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. Ha! 
I don't scare that easy. Still, <sighs> I don't care. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say you'll come with me? Is that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? You... Uh, fine. Don't worry, we're perf- uh, Then I place- All right, time- <clears throat> uh, You heard it here- <sighs> Are you ready? Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you? Eva says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Hey! How's it going, Auroron? Good. How are you, Uncle Okanbi? Ah, can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. <laughs> Only if you're offering. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. You really knew I- Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadow. Hey. Appeared out of nowhere? It's the Fatui. Their leader- If you run into them. You're f I enjoy living- I guess you're from the Fatui. What? Not an inaccurate description. I'm looking for someone who may be- Granny? What does an outlander want with her? I've heard the name. <sighs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding- Oh, he could tell I was- Hey! It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. <sighs> They've just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny. I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. My lord! Hmm? Ignore him. He is no threat. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong, I can tell, but there's something unusual about him and also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Ugh. What is it? My lord, I... A ley line disturbance. Hmm. Uh, that was a spell from the Masters of the Nightwind. How did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Ah, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. The Abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, 
There's no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui... I've been following him this whole time and still they ignore it seems like his subordinates were f and now he's headed to the stadium that's a new you two with me everyone else wait here isn't yes sir he's going inside but the pyro archon is in there forgive me my lord allow me to check one more time <sighs> this nation is out yes sir He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? <laughs> They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? <gasps> Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines. It's faint. Like a s- Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. As for you, I must- No matter how dense the fog, <sighs> you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from me. <coughs> No need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast. And yet. Hmm. <laughs> then speak. What do you- I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the, the questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So, I felt like I had- ah. So, you can tell the truth. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the pyro arc, so- we're in the seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why? Explain your relation to her first. See, Lali is my elder and my teacher. If you truly wish to protect- <sighs> I want to do something to change Natlin for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're- st Strange. See, Lali is said to be the legendary Granny Eatstley. Someone capable of communicating with the Wyub. And the Wyab are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul. A sense of justice. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. I see. Interesting of Worth trying. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem by reconstructing the ley lines themselves.
Traveler, Paimon. Are you two all right? Uh, Paimon's fine, just, um, <laughs> a little dizzy. Of course, I'm just... <sighs> After everything, he still can't let go of the past. <sighs> For some reason, now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do? He thinks he can just... <sighs> I'll show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. Maybe stubbornness runs in the family. Like grandmother, like grandson, as they say. Is that supposed to be... <sighs> yeah, the cat... What does it even mean? The loom of fate? Oh, anyway... Which means... Why is he so... Yes, she needs to... <sighs> 